से जंग आई सुक Well, we're back with a, an early Week 11 matchup preview show. Uh, got nothing to do on this Sunday night other than prep for Cub Club, 21st Century Grant tomorrow, going to the state capitol, what, what. So uh, Benson Harbor, he knows what I'm talking about there. Uh, easy money if I don't say so myself. Well, uh, we had an interesting week. This current week wrapping up right now. We have a whole mess of teams sitting at 5-5. Five and five. It is insanity right now in the ranks. I know in the uh, division that I'm in, we've got myself, Joe Boo, and Man Bear Pig all sitting at 5-5 five and five with us um, uh, power gloves sitting at 4-6. and six. So he's creeping right there, too. So we don't know who's going to go. I could go from 3rd to 8th in this week in the uh, um, uh, standing. So we never know what's going to happen. Uh, congratulatory early out there to those that have already won. Uh, Benson whipped my ass this week. Irvin Santana, complete game shutout. I know I went down in defeat. Can't say anything about that. A um, couple other defeats out there. B Green going down. Um, Ahar with a sneaky loss right there. Did not see that one coming. And uh, just, you know, some other um, power gloves. Didn't see him pulling out a dub there, but congratulations go out to where they are needed. Uh, let's go ahead start talking about what we have in store this week. Uh, jerseys. Decided I haven't won in four weeks, so we might as well just go ahead and uh, put on something we know is a winning jersey right there. Get our week to start off prematurely early. Tebow Championship jersey from the BCS. Ahab knows what this is all about right here. We all know it's the Tebow, so it's Tebow time today. So go Gators, go Thrills, go Best Friends League for life. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with our matchups here. Um, first one up, we're looking at Belch Huggins, former owner of this shed jersey right here, versus Nothing Else Matters. Um, when you're looking at uh, Aharp's squad right there, when you, if you look at first base all the way to first outfield, you're like, holy shit, this team is pretty fucking stacked. Uh, but I, there are some weak spots, especially in the outfield, I think. I know he's he's very happy with what he has, but I see weaknesses there. Probably some areas he can improve upon. Um, nothing Else Matters. I don't see him losing twice in a row. Um, Nothing else matters. He'll dedicate all of his time, this free time at the farm box this week, to uh, looking at his team and making necessary changes. So I'm predicting nothing else matters. Pulls out a dub in our uh, early matchup reviews. Uh, moving on there. So congratulations in the store for B Green right there. Moving on, let's look at a little uh, Dr. Lawyer versus Jumbo. J stands for Jumbo. Uh, J stands for Jumbo. I just don't think you're healthy enough yet. I know you got Steven Matz back, but you still got so many injuries, man. I just don't see there's any way that you're going to pull this one out this week against Dr. Larry. Tons of Ks this week, and uh, I, I like Dr. Larry's squad. I've always liked it from the get-go. As everybody knows in my uh, preview show, I decided that I was going to um, predict them to make the playoffs. Got a lot of faith in Mom Harbs right there. Side note, uh, anybody that knows a little wreck wreck, hope everything's all right there. Mom Harbs after a little wrecky-poo right there. Um, Get yourself a sweet new ride. Um, let's see. So, Dr. Lay, not only a new ride, but a sweet dub this week as well. Uh, next up, Power Gloves versus and David Justice for All. And David Justice for All. Uh, I don't. Th I think you're going to shut down Power Gloves for a couple reasons. One, he's not winning twice in a row. And two, for the people that don't own this league, I sent him a trade earlier today. He rejected said trade within 30 seconds. Fastest rejection ever. Hashtag Fastest rejection ever. That's why I got to give him some props. Code knows when I went back and looked at that trade, I, I was just like, who wouldn't have rejected that? So um, my mistake there, dude. Totally, totally shit-tastic trade on my end. So as all of you can out there can just chuckle it up knowing that, once again, Thrills is throwing a shit trade out there. But Cody knows did not accept. So uh, cut the man some slack there. Uh, moving on to my... I don't know how I want to say this... NBA Jam of the Week. That's right. The Boom Shakalaka, no doubt, NBA Jam. He's on fire pick of the week. Joe Boo takes down Wacky Deli. Joe Boo. Offensive numbers back where we expected them to be this year. Just in time to face off against Kamish. Kamish, win-loss, win-loss, win-loss. So after whipping my ass this week, we know he's got to pick up a, an L in the uh, coming week here. So I'm picking Joe Boo to uh, pick up another dub right there and get over 500, which is something I don't like. But luckily, I, I do see myself winning this week, beating Maverick Hunters. Mavs, 
totally hole up in it better than me record wise but you got too many pitches on the deal now i know i'm gonna get double dicking of clayton kershaw this week which i'm not too pleased about but i still think i'm gonna come out on top my team is finally finally healthy all the way there got jameson tying back got his testicular thing taken care of that's a yeah not, not nothing to joke about nothing at all so i predict myself to win there and uh, let's look right here. We got Man Bear Pig versus Master of Puppets. Man Bear Pig, I need you to take another loss. I want you back down in the standings. I don't like your team because you got some good offensive players right there. And uh, you're just waiting on a couple of your pitchers to do something. And Master of Puppets, all you do is uh, somehow it's just, oh, you're going to play somebody, they're going to suck, suck, suck. And you're sitting at 6-4. and four. And uh, did not expect that this way through the season. So Zach Cozart and little uh, Miguel Cabrera starting to carry you. Uh, so overall this week, uh, let's see, we've got myself winning, Jobu winning, nothing else winning, Larry and David Justice, as well as Master of Puppets. So uh, I think those teams are going to go 6-0. and I've been pretty shitty this early coming a part of the year. I'm looking to overcome that, but we don't know what's in store for the future. I hope my team does something. we got the GM meetings coming up this Saturday, six days away. Six days away here at Thrills House. Pool is beautiful. Porch is beautiful. As you can see, that's where I'm broadcasting from most weeks. We are ready to have a great time. Yard, ready to throw the ball around, ready to cannonball it, maybe throw the dingle around. Just kidding. Uh, unless you're Ben Harvey, who loves to jump in the pool, butt ass neck, and show everybody his ass. <laughs> that's what we call the Hat Bedell Special. Naked ass in the pool, or anywhere for that matter. Uh, so, without further ado, I sign out. I leave you with this. And uh, I just want to say one thing um, to the fans and everybody in Gator Nation. Um, I'm sorry. Um, extremely sorry. You know, we were hoping for an undefeated season. That was my goal. Something for has never done here. But I promise you one thing. A lot of good will come out of this. You have never seen any player in the entire country play as hard as I will play the rest of the season. And you never see someone push the rest of the team as hard as I will push everybody the rest of the season. And you never see a team play harder than we will the rest of the season. God bless. Thrills up out this bitch.